Hi guys, uh, this is Nay. Uh, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my YouTube channel with a very uh, a beautiful Cadbury video. I hope this video will prove to be a very informative video for you. And today I will explore a very beautiful, very cute cat today. Uh, uh, in this video I will explain about the appearance, about the temperament, about the living needs and how you can cure and what are the health issues that you face if you have this pet at your home. So let's start the video without any waiting. So the cat that you are seeing in the picture, this beautiful cat is uh, named as uh, Somali cat. So this is as unique as its name. So the Somali cats are far more than just the sum of their parts. This is a lively, beautiful, intelligent cat who revolves in the company of humans and animals alike. Their height is about 7 to 11 inches and their weight is between 6 to 10 pounds while their lifespan is 11 to 16 years. And they are very good with the children, with the seniors, with the dogs, with the cats and with the family as well. They are very intelligent and highly intelligent cat breed and their temperament is also very good and very social and very bold cat breed. Considering the Somali's origin story, it can be easy to write off these beautiful cats as just a long-haired Abyssinian cat. But as many uh, Somali cats owner will tell you, there is so much more to the story. The Somali is an incredible breed. Uh, they are very really sociable and are the perfect family pet. Somalis are brilliant, gregarious, tirelessly active cats who delight in learning tricks. Um, bonding with humans and other animals alike and exploring every inch of their environment. Now I will tell you about their appearance and how it looks like. The Cat Francis Association CFA breed standard recognizes four Somali cat colors, red, uh, ruddy, fawn and blue. Uh, internationally, there are some breeders who trade in Somalis with other colors including uh, tortoise shell ticked or tabby ticket coats. But those are rare and not generally recognized by most breeders or breed associations. Uh, in most other regards, the Somalis coat mimics that of the Abyssinian cat just with long hair. Uh, but there are short coated Somalis whose cats whose coats are denser than Abyssinians. Somalis are medium large cats. The average weight of Somali cat is usually six to ten pounds. The temperament is also very good. So uh, prepare to have your life uh, monopolized. The Somalis are known for the faint of fur or for anyone looking for a quite docile lab cat. These guys are always on the move and always looking to be the center of attention. Uh, teach the Somali to fetch at your own peril because uh, once they understand the game, they are never going to want to stop. I always say that uh, they are the cat breeds that are nearest to a dog in their behavior. Uh, they are so rambunctious uh, and so smart making sure that a Somali uh, Somali cat do need exercise and met, uh, an important part of keeping her happy and motivated. So, structured playtime is also an excellent bonding experience. The most important thing for the cat is to keep them active. And the Somali can uh, make a toy out of anything uh, light enough to bat around. Ping pong balls, pieces of paper, twist ties, it's all fair game. Uh, living needs. They do need some important things uh, as a living need. So the Somalis is a very vertical cat. So if you aren't providing some ceiling height cat trees, shells, condos and hammocks for her to climb, she is going to find her way up to the highest point of the room. Uh, <clears throat> due to their incredibly social nature, they are not cats that you want to leave on their own for too long. Left home alone with no playmates, the Somalis like to develop separation anxiety. 
Whenever she's alone, she'll need access to interactive toys, scratching posts, and puzzles to keep her mind occupied. These are also cats who get along with just about anyone uh, else in the house, too like her. Otherwise, school age kiddos are a great match for the Somali's big energy level and playfulness. Care. Their care is also very important. Brush, brush, brush. That's going to be the large and small of it when it comes to keeping your Somalis happy. Their long silky hair sheds regularly and that only gets behavior heavier in the summer months as uh, they lose some of that winter coat color. Additionally, thanks to that uh, bushy, bushy tail, every trip to the litter box has the potential to turn your life into Star Trek. Absolutely to exploring for a clean months. Uh, and like all cats, your Somali need her claws clean frequently, ears clean regularly, and her litter box kept today. Health issues are also there like the Abyssinian ca uh, cats. Like the Abyssinian cousins, Somalis are pretty healthy breed, though they are at risk of uh, pyruvate kinase deficiency and inherited disease that can cause anemia. To ensure uh, you bring home a healthy Somali kitten always work with a repeatable breeder uh, who gets their cat's health screen. Uh, and that aside, the, the mood of typical cat health issues like arthritis, heart disease and kidney issues are all going to be things you and uh, your vet will want to keep an eye on as Somali ages. Now I will tell you about the history of the Somali cat. As a recessive gene in the Abyssinian breed, long haired Abbeys have been showing up for decades, if no longer according to the CFA. For a long time, the long-haired kittens were uh, disordered by Abbey breeders, quickly shuttled off to be pets instead of show cats. How the long-haired gene was first introduced into the Abyssinian bloodline is a matter of much debate and speculation. Similarly, who first started uh, breeding a long-haired Abbeys is a matter of relatively time to a uh, loss. But what is not up for debate is that the Eastern American named Avalyn Meg, who gave the Somali breed its name and made the first strides at getting the cat recognized as a separate breed by cat friendship clubs. Some things uh, that was achieved in 1979 when the CFU recognized the breed uh, for champion status. And role the Somali cat is touted as a foxy stealer of art and Instagram where this handsome guy has more than 10,000 followers. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, this would be an informative video for you. Please subscribe the channel and also like the video. And if you want to keep this cat at your home, please watch this video. It would be beneficial for you. Bye for this time. Uh, we'll meet with a new video with a new informative video of a cat breed. Goodbye. Have a nice day. God bless you. Thank you for watching the video.